Greetings and salutations, YouTube land. People back again with another unboxing video. Today I have for you a big pile of merch from the three most recent PAX. PAX N. So if you don't know, PAX is a big gaming convention. Uh, there's five main ones that take place throughout the U.S. and Australia. I usually go to East, which is in Boston every year. Unfortunately, due to the shutdown in the global pandemic, they had to cancel most of the packs this year. And, well, in order to make up for it, they decided to do packs online, with a bunch of panels, some concerts and stuff, and put out the merch that they would have sold at PAX Oz, PAX West, and they had some exclusively for uh, PAX Online. I ordered a bunch of the merch, and here it is. All right, let's get ready for the unboxing. Chop, thank you. So the thing with this, oh no. The thing with this is that um, they kind of ship stuff as they got it in. It wasn't necessarily like all at once or in order. So I've actually gotten this stuff over like the last month to six weeks. You can see my daughter loves to draw on anything that doesn't move, and some things that do. And she got a hold of some of the packages before I did. So I'm not quite sure which is which on this. So we'll be surprised. Okay. First we have the limited edition pin from PAX uh, West. So the, they usually have a theme for all the limited edition ones. This one uh, they did, it was supposed to be like PAX School basically, PAX University. And they all have different crests with colors. I don't remember the numbers. I want to say these were like limited to something like 1500 or 2000 or something like that. I don't remember. But I always, these are always hard to trade for depending on the design. Some of these actually go for a pretty good amount. So it's nice to get them when you can. Let's see, uh, we'll do this one next. Especially any of the pins from Australia usually carry quite the premium just because shipping them alone costs a fortune. Hey, and speaking of, we have the Oz version of the limited pin. As you can see, Oz gets the yellow color. Same basic design. A few minor changes. Pretty cool. I'm missing a few of the pins from uh, other years. Some of the limited editions. For a while, I had them all, but unfortunately, where East is kind of one of the more popular ones, the pins tend not to be as valued because a lot of people go to it. Ah, I hate these envelopes. So the ones that frickin' shred everywhere when you try to cut into them. I don't know why they use so many different types. Let's see. Ugh. Release your anger. Oh, this one actually has some stuff in it. Shipping information. This is the PAX Online set. They went with green. See the class of packs. The looks like a oh, it's a mouse. Oh, cute. Mouse. The go live button in gold. I don't know how you can see that. And the packs online logo. Each show gets a show set like this, um, as well as the limited edition. And then usually there's several third-party pins available. The PAX Online LE pin. Which should complete my set. I don't, I don't think they did an unplugged one. I don't remember hearing about one. I don't know if they bothered doing the merch. Last we have this guy which should have a bunch of stuff in it. Okay, but yeah, there's more in here. I'm like, I should have some more stuff. 
They did some bonuses depending on what you ordered. One of the ones I did was I got the PAX Online patch. Most of the packs have had a patch. Unfortunately, they only started them a few years in. Well, I am not having a good day. So, you don't have one for all of them. Envelopes inside envelopes. So, one of the things I got was not a PAX Online thing, but it is kind of connected. It's the Baby Jim Dark Magic shirt. So during PAX, they, uh, they play a game of Dungeons & Dragons called Acquisitions Incorporated. Look up the videos online, it's hysterical. The past few times they've had uh, Xavier Woods from the WWE there playing. And he has brought a whole new dimension. He's come up with things to do in Dungeons & Dragons that nobody else has ever thought of, I guarantee. Uh, they did a special one at East this year, which was based on The Mandalorian. No spoilers, I haven't watched it yet. And it was kind of a tease of the Baby Yoda. They came up with Baby Jim. Now, the funny thing is, Gabe... Um, Mike, who's the artist behind Penny Arcade and one of the people who started PAX, managed to design this and get the shirts made without anyone else pretty much knowing in the company, aside from those who had to. These were available at East, but they sold out insanely fast. I missed out on it. My size went too quick, so I was glad to be able to order one. We got the Acquisition Sync logo on the back. Alright, more shipping stuff. I don't know why they include that. I know what I ordered. Alright, and we have some more pins. This was a bonus if you spent over $100. I did. If you don't know, that character is Merch. That is Coach Merch. And we have the Pax Oz show set. Got the logo, a handheld device, a ping pong flipper, ping pong, jeez, pinball flipper, and the class of Pax pin. And we have the Kemper pin, which was also a freebie. I don't remember the amount for this. I think it was like 60 or something like that. And this was, they do uh, different online sets. The pins aren't just at PAX. This was the Summer of Kemper set. Kind of is like a TNC surf design look to it. It's pretty cool. Got Kemper camping, skateboarding, surfing, and chilling. Did Kemper worry? No way. Yeah, I've read Keep the Cat a few times. Let's see. And we have the West Show set. Featuring the two logo pins, a controller, and a headset. I gotta be honest, I have the East set. I don't remember what the pins are for it. I think there was a trophy and something else. And then we have the two patches. Which these were freebies if you ordered. I think it was 35 So there we go. Some plenty of merch from packs that never were. But were. Isn't that strange? Uh, some people order tons of these. I only ordered a few. One of each just because. Honestly I don't know how well they're going to trade. Where they were so easy to get. So I didn't bother to stock up. And, you know, I've got to spend money on mystery boxes. Uh, keep your eyes peeled. They're going to have, they have some big uh, Black Friday sales going all month long. Black Friday has lost all meaning. And as a retail worker, I applaud this. Uh, I think it's the 27th. They're going to be doing a drop of the uh, Double Secret Blind Mystery Boxes, which contain two pins that have been traded into them. And they can be 
any pins. People have gotten all sorts of crazy rare pins, a bunch of commons, you never know. Alright, if you enjoyed this, shoot me that thumbs up. If you picked up any merch, got anything cool, or if you're involved in pin trading or want to be and need some information, shoot me a comment down below. I'd love to hear from you guys. I'm very involved in the community, so I can get you hooked up with any information you need. Ding that bell so you can be notified whenever my videos go live. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't yet, so you can subscribe and not miss any videos. And as always, be excellent to each other. Party on, dudes.